We have some more breaking news out of the Brent Christensen sentencing today at the federal courthouse in Peoria. We are waiting for a news conference to start. As we told you earlier this afternoon, Christensen is sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of release for kidnapping and killing U of I scholar Ying Ying Zhang. We're going to send you to that news conference right now. I believe the U.S. attorney is Remain speaking at the, the moment. Of Ying Ying, who have suffered an unimaginable tragedy thousands of miles away from their home. They have showed an incredible amount of resolve and strength. They are here. They were here throughout the entire trial supporting Ying Ying. I need to also thank the, the Federal Bureau of Investigations who investigated this case, specifically Special Agent Anthony Maganero and Andy Hubstadt who worked tirelessly for two years to make sure this defendant was brought to justice. And it was a team effort and a coordinated law enforcement effort with the University of Illinois Police Department, the Illinois State Police, the McHenry County Sheriff's Department, the Champaign-Urbana Mass Transit District, who all worked to solve this case and then prosecute this case. I also need to thank the trial team, who along with the special agents from the FBI, Eugene Miller, Brian Freres, Jim Nelson from the Capitol Case Section in Washington, D.C., Stacey Clair, Jimmy Henton, all from our office, worked tirelessly the last two years and during this trial for the last several weeks knowing that Ying Ying deserved everything they had, and they gave everything they had to bring this defendant to justice. I also need to thank Sharon Paul from the Central District and her team, who she's our victim witness coordinator, who worked with the family uh, throughout this incredibly difficult process. It is unimaginable to think of something happening to a son or daughter but then in a foreign country, in a different language, how difficult and horrible that must be. Sharon would help, was helped to a large extent uh, by Zaidong Wong and Steve Beckett, who are representatives of the family. Uh, and they are here and were very, very helpful throughout this process, working with the family, helping them in what is an incredibly impossible to describe uh, event and tra tragic event that happened to them. We respect the decision of the jury. We would not have asked for the death penalty if we did not believe it was appropriate given the facts in this case, given what this defendant did to Ying Ying. But we respect the decision of the jury. It is a hope and a sincere hope that the family has some sense of justice and some sense of closure in this case. And at this point, I'm gonna turn it over to Mr. Wang and Mr. Beckett. So, so Mr. Zhang will speak first. Um, he will speak in Chinese, and then Mr. Wang will translate, and we'll try to do this uh, in, in paragraphs. And I do have the remarks uh, here in writing, if you guys could pass them out amongst yourselves. Today,陪审团已经做出决定。评审已经结束。评审却仍然没有回家。我们的目标从来就是 也将一致是带领你回家。The jury has spoken, and the trial is over. But Ying Ying is not home. Our goal is and has always been to bring Ying Ying home, unless and until we're able to do that, 
we will not have the peace or closure. We understand one or one person to be convicted we understand that one or more of the jurors could not make the judgment that the defendant deserves a death penalty in this case. Well, we do not agree with the result. However, we accept that he will spend the rest of his life in prison, which still reflects our loss in a meaningful way. We hope that every day he spends in prison, he feels the pain and the suffering that we feel for the loss of Ying Ying. We Jingguang和其他执法人员为营营讨回公道 once again, we thank the prosecutors and law enforcement officers and their staff for their work in seeking justice for Ying Ying. We thank the judge and court personnel for their consideration during the trial. We thank the Chinese community at the University of Illinois and in Central Illinois and everyone else in the United States, China, and around the world who supported us during this difficult time. We're touched by the warmth and the friendship that has been shown to all of us. <laughs> Now the trial is over, and the jury had made, made its decision. We ask the defendant to unconditionally tell us what he knows about Ying Ying's location. If you have any humanity left in your soul, please help end our torment. Please let us bring Ying Ying home. Thank you. Why is that you? I, I want to add something. Uh, for me, for me, for myself, the result today seem to tell me that I can, I can kill anyone, and that I can kill anyone with all kinds of cruel method I want, and I will not need to die for it. And I'd better take some drugs, some alcohol before I do it. And I'd better act as a loner, and then people will not think I'm dangerous people. So for me, for my own personal opinion, the result today seemed to encourage people to do crimes. And me, myself, will never agree with that. But for me, I do 
appreciate the, the hard working in these two months of the jury and also the prosecutor, the judge and all the lawyers and everyone in the court. I'm very, very grateful to, to your work. Um, I'm very, very grateful to that. Would you say that in Chinese? Say that in Chinese.嗯，我想就用中文再表达一下，呃，我对所有人的感谢，不单是我，还有所有的家人。这两个月以及这两年的时间，对我们来说都是一个特别不容易的时间。但是在我们身边，总有很多人给我们支持，给我们鼓励，
在本案的定罪和量刑阶段中工作的每一位专业人士。We appreciate the prosecutors,、uh, Eugene Miller, Jim Nelson, Brian Ferris, for keeping us informed as much as possible, so that we could inform and advise Yingying's family at every stage of this case. Frankly, we found it difficult at times to have to inform the family about difficult and different aspects of the case, and we want to acknowledge the patience and understanding that Wang Gao Chao, Li Fang Jie, and Yang Yang Zhang, and Yao Lin Hu have shown us, as we did our best to keep them informed. We thank the police officers for making sure that every stage of the case is informed of the situation and that they can participate in the case. 有时和家人沟通案情并不容易，甚至很沉重。我们已经尽全力让他们了解情况。感谢张荣高、叶丽凤、张新阳和侯潇林，在这个过程中对我们的理解和耐心。While the verdict in this case brings Yingying's family some comfort, they won't have closure unless and until they're able to bring Yingying back home. That has been their goal all along. We share the frustration of many that Ying Ying's remains have not been found. We continue to hope that ultimately her remains are located and she can be reunited with her parents and loved ones in China. Thank We have nothing else to report other than the efforts to locate Ying Ying have not stopped. They have not stopped when they started two years ago, and they'll continue. Thank you. You are just watching a news conference live from the federal courthouse in Peoria following the sentencing of Brent Christensen. He was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of release for kidnapping and killing U of I scholar Ying Ying Zhang in June of 2017. He was also given an additional five years for lying to the FBI. Prosecutors said in that press conference they respect the decision of the jury. Ying Ying Zhang's family was there. Her mother clearly emotional. You saw that. Her father spoke. Saying Saying that Ying Ying's not home, their goal is to bring her home. They will not have peace or closure until that happens. They asked Christensen to tell them about her location, asking, quote, if you have any humanity left in your soul to please do that. Her fiance there had some strong words about uh, the results of today's sentencing, saying that he thinks it will encourage people to do crime. Of course, we will have much more on this sentencing tonight at 5 and 6, and we have a special edition of 30 Minutes at 6.30 where we will break down this case from start to finish.